Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come to Mary in this Eucharistic celebration to learn from her how to become a humble servant invited to the banquet of our Lord. And so to prepare ourselves in this banquet, in this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body. And through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I ask them, has God rejected his people? Of course not. For I too am a child of Israel, a descendant of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people whom he foreknew. Do you not know what the scripture says about Elijah, how he pleads with God against Israel? Hence I ask, did they stumble so as to fall? Of course not. But through their transgression, salvation has come to the Gentiles so as to make them jealous. Now, if their transgression is enrichment for the world, and if their diminished number is enrichment for the Gentiles, how much more their full number? I do not want you to be unaware of his mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you will not become wise in your own estimation. A hardening has come upon Israel in part until the full number of the Gentiles come in. And thus, all Israel will be saved as it is written. The Deliverer will come out of Zion. He will turn away godlessness from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. In respect to the gospel, they are enemies of your account, but in respect to election, they are beloved because of the patriarch, for the gift and the call of God are irrevocable. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Blessed the man whom you instruct, O Lord, whom by your law you teach, giving him rest from evil days. The Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance, but judgment shall again be with justice and all the upright of heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Were not the Lord my help, my soul would soon dwell in the silent grave. When I say, my foot is sleeping, your mercy, O Lord, sustains me. The Lord will not abandon his people. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. He told a parable to those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing the places of honor at the table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline at table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest than you may have been invited by him, and the host who invited you 
who invited both of you may approach you and say, give your place to this man. And then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, go and take the lowest place so that when the host comes to you, he may say, my friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been hearing from our Gospel passages in this ordinary season how Jesus was teaching His followers how to become good disciples. And Jesus would even use parables, imagery, sometimes very interesting imagery to teach us about discipleship. Maybe you remember in these past days, we have heard about the eye of the needle how a disciple should learn to enter through the eye of a needle, the smallness of the path towards the kingdom. Maybe you remember the imagery used by Jesus, the image of a child. When he brought a child to his disciples and asked them to become like this little child, to become a good disciple. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus uses another imagery. Siguro magugustuhan ninyo ang image na ito. The imagery of eating. Yan, no? Gustong gusto natin yan, no? A banquet. Eating together. And Jesus was in a house of a Pharisee. He was invited to dine, to eat with them, may kainan. Sumama si Jesus. And Jesus observed carefully how people were choosing the places of honor at the table. Nag-uunahan sa pinakamagandang upuan. Yung pinaka, ang tawag ba natin dyan, kabisera, no? para ikaw ay nasa magandang posisyon. And Jesus used this image to make a parable, to teach His disciples. And He said, when you are invited to a wedding banquet, do not choose the places of honor. Rather, He said, move to the lowest position. My dear brothers and sisters, I think Jesus is teaching us today that the kingdom of God is like this. The kingdom of God is like being invited to a banquet. And the question of Jesus for all of us today is, what kind of a guest are you? Kung ang kaharian ng Diyos ay parang inimbita ka sa isang kainan, anong klase kang bisita? That is how we can respond to the kingdom of God. What kind of guests are we in the banquet? Are you like the person in the parable? who chooses always the highest position at the table, ikaw ba yan na ang gusto mo kapag inimbita ka sa isang kainan ay mapansin ka? 
Sabi nga ng mga kabataan ngayon sa salita nila, no? Gusto mo pang talunin yung my birthday sa suot mo, no? Minsan darating ka sa kasal, mas maganda pa ang suot mo doon sa kinasal. Are you that kind of guest that you want to be noticed? You came to the banquet not to share the joy of the wedding, but you are there to be noticed. What kind of guest are we? Some guests would go to a banquet not really to share the joy of the couple or the host, pero ang iniisip nila palagi ay, ano kaya ang pagkaing maiuuwi ko? No? Kaya yung iba, pagdating sa banquet, may dalang plastic bag, no? may dalang lalagyan. No? Ano kaya ang maibabalot ko? No? Am I that kind of guest? Am I just thinking of myself? Yung iba, hindi pa tapos ang kainan, nagbabalot na. No? Paano na lang ang ibang bisita? Am I just thinking of myself? What kind of a guest am I? My dear brothers and sisters, I think this is the main question that Jesus wants to share with His disciples. If the kingdom of God is like being invited to a banquet, then what kind of guest are you? This is also the teaching of St. Paul in our first reading today in his letter to the Romans. He was teaching his disciples that the people of Israel are called, maybe you have already heard of this, the people of Israel are called the, the chosen people. They are the elect of God. What we may call Maybe we could use the term the favorite of God because they were the first people to be called and chosen by God. But St. Paul said to the Israelites, Ah, wag lalaki ang ulo ninyo. Do not say that, Ah, we are the chosen people. We are God's favorite we are at the top position. No, St. Paul said, you are the chosen people because you will be used by God to become the missionaries to the Gentiles. Israel is chosen by God so that they may bring the light of the gospel to the Gentiles. You are given the highest position because you will become the greatest servant. My dear brothers and sisters, today Jesus is asking us, we are all invited to the banquet of the kingdom. Do we become good and authentic guests in the kingdom? Halimbawa, dito po sa ating pagdiriwang ng Misa. This is, I think, one of the perfect illustration of a banquet. Jesus has invited you today. In this banquet, here is the table where we will share the food coming from God. What kind of guests are we? Have we come here in proper attire? Have we prepared to come here and be present in the banquet of God? Have we come here to listen to the hosts speaking to us? Or have we come here just to be noticed? Have we come here to sit in our proper places so that we could listen carefully to God, to the host speaking to us? Or do I choose to sit at the lowest position because I do not want to listen to the host? What kind of guests are we in this banquet? You know, my dear brothers and sisters, who can be 
our greatest example of how to become a good guest in the banquet, no other than our lady. Remember, she was a guest at the wedding at Cana. She did not choose to be seated at the highest position at the table. In fact, she was with the servants. She was invited to the banquet, but she was concerned with the couple who was married. And she said, they have no more wine. We need to do something to help the wedding. She was a guest. She was invited. But she has taken the position of a servant. And look at her now. In this banquet, she is at the highest position. As Jesus said in the gospel, those who humble themselves, they will be exalted. Mary did not place herself there in the highest position. She has chosen the lowest position to become the servant in that wedding banquet. And now, God has exalted her. God has given her glory. My dear brothers and sisters, the kingdom of God is like being invited to a banquet. Let us ask ourselves today, what kind of guests are we? Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that we may learn from His Son, Jesus Christ, what it means to serve. For every petition, let us say, Father, give us the spirit of your Son. Father, give us the spirit of your Son. That we as a church may go out of our own worlds to serve others with self-effacing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, us give us the, the spirit, spirit of, of your, your Son, that those in public office may give the best of themselves in serving the people instead of seeking their personal gain. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the, the spirit, spirit of, of your, your Son, that we may show gratitude to those who render service to us in various ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give, give us, us the Spirit of your Son, that the sick and the elderly may find respect and attention from their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the Spirit of your Son, that those who have gone ahead of us in this life may be received into the Lord's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the Spirit of your Son. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord our God, it is not easy for us to help others when it is inconvenient to do so. May we learn from Jesus to be available to anyone who seeks help and give us strength to do so. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Consorte, ma di 
Isnos Tripir Vinyatos Esparvich. Benedictus es Domine Deus Universitus Largitatia Epimus Vino, o Tibi Oferimus Rupum Vitis et Operis Manum, Hominum Exponobis Viet Voto Spirita. Spiritum Meditatis et in Animo Contrito Shoviamur et Domine Deus. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we, 
who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for uh, a few announcements. Uh, in these coming days, we will be offering prayers and masses for the souls of our uh, departed ones. And uh, so we are inviting you to uh, maybe come here in the Manila Cathedral if it is possible to offer prayers for our beloved dead. Tomorrow, October 31, Sunday, our masses will be at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 6 p.m. And every after mass, we will be having the blessing of the cremated remains of our beloved dead. And so we invite families who may have a departed one and you have still the urn of their cremated remains. You may attend the Eucharistic celebration tomorrow and after the Mass, we will be blessing them and offering prayers for them. We will also do this on November 1 and 2. Our Masses uh, on November 1 and 2, Monday and Tuesday, will be our regular schedule at 7.30 a.m. and 12.10 in the afternoon. And we will also be having the blessing of urns after the Masses of November 1 and 2. And also, in the coming days, the Blessed Souls Chapel inside the Manila Cathedral, where we could offer uh, prayers, we could light candles and offer Masses for the souls. Uh, the Blessed Souls Chapel will be opened uh, all throughout the day so that you may come and offer our prayers for our departed loved ones. Let us now all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ibinagli 